surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! Well, if you want to tell me that this particular fighter is on the wrong end of the power equation, I'll give you that. But few guys can match his speed and his footwork. Prevailing wisdom is he'll try to fight on the outside tonight, stick and move a little bit, exceptionally quick on his feet, sets up angles beautifully, manages distance as good as anybody on the roster, knows how to set up his attacks, knows how to stay in his opponent's range, figures to be a big part of the strategy tonight, given the power that's coming back. because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown right away. Our tail of the day for this, our main event of the evening. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Lion. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one. Ready. Go. All right, so here we are, the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, mixed martial arts was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong, and we've been on the president. John, we kicked the door in. Yes. If you're gonna open, if you're gonna say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards and some of the biggest moments in UFC history. Now, if the Knicks could just get their act together, the Knicks will never get their act together. And I'm okay with. It. Nice entry there, and able to finish. Oh, huge overhand. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. I love that one. I love when the guy throws a kick with that much power. Cable into right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, big punch land. Get ready, get ready. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Kick, kick, kick. Beautiful defense. Nice ball. Trying to establish that jab once again. Beautiful kick 
Just over three minutes now to go. Goes to the body there. Really working that body to good effect. Just unable to quite find that range. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Nice one-two there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. So there it is, taller fighter. Connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. It's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Looking to land the leg kick now. Nice job by him defensively there. Push kick there to the body. Oh, nice hook. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Lee. Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Remaining seconds here of this opening round. in the books. All right, buddy, take a seat. Deep breath, man. breathe. All right, let's get him some water. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it take an effect. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Second round here. All right, next round is underway. And I think my biggest takeaway in the previous round, his ability to avoid shots, right? It seemed like every time his opponent loaded up, by the time the strike got there, he was out of harm's way. And it was a very minimal movement. It wasn't a big movement off the center line. The opponent threw, it was maybe two inches off to the right that allowed him to be out of position from his opponent's punch, but still in position to return a strike of his own. Oh, nice. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Huge block there. Good jab. Oh, goodness, what a kick. Another big head kick land. You have got to make some adjustments. 
Well, he continues to manage distance beautifully and take advantage of that edge and reach. Nice combination there. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, perfect head kick there. Big knee there. His leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starts to... Oh, huge shot finds the target there! Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. It's a right hand! Oh, big left hook there! Yeah. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the... Oh, he is hurting for certain. Oh, my goodness. Just out of the range with that right hand. Both guys appeared to land there. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Nice oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, we talk about these calf kicks all the time. Don't want to take too many more of those. I cannot believe how damaging that strike has become. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller. Just out of range with that strike. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You got to move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Beautiful jab lands. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into the corner of midsection. Final seconds of the round. What a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round.
Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, most fighters... He's hurt. He's wobbling. Big right hand. Oh, you can start to see him limping a little bit after one of those leg kicks, so better make some adjustments or this fight could be over. You don't want to show it. That's why you see fighters, when they get hurt, they smile. To be limping out there tells you how damaged this guy is. Superman punch now. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, we're in the clinch, but still able to land hard to the head with the punch there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off. Take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> hands higher, hands higher. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, nice. Nice. Collar tie here in the clinch. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Big shot to the head. Lee's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite groove starting to form on that right side. Liver kick. Well, oh, don't get mad, get even, right? Oh, about the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Body kick is blocked. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's going to be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Waning seconds here of round number three. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar. Big knee lands to the body. Oh, the high kick lands. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work.
All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Slips the left hand. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice kick. Great block there. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Slips that left hand. Oh, nice. Oh, oh man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Well, calf kicks have changed the game, and there is another one. A lot of swelling now on that lower leg of his opponent. I mean, it's all purple and black, John. This guy's getting his legs destroyed. He tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Oh, effective strike from the clinch there by Lee. It won't take many of those. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent, flipped a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Nice block. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, man. I mean, headshots they are not, but that calf is taking an absolute beating. This is hard to watch. It's hard to watch. It's hard to see a guy so limited in his defenses and not have the ability to do much to change it. We got to look for this fight to be finished here pretty soon. Out of range with that one. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Unable to connect it. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. 
Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, John. You gotta just go forward and let everything fly. Over and back. Under 20 seconds now to go. Lee gets caught with that punch. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down Epic. Entertaining scrap so far. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth yeah. and final round. Well, in that previous round, it didn't look like it. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibited on their face. Such a big spot. He's work. I stand it up. He's work. Checks the leg kick. Hey. Oh! He got hurt again. Well, when we're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. All right, well, the ref's going to step in here. He has done a job on his nose. You see what I did there, nose shot? <laughs> but, John, it's a bloody nose. We've all had bloody noses. We got bloody noses in our first fight at seven years old. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll let him keep fighting. I'm not even sure how the doctor's going to be able to find that cut under all the blood, but he did, and it looks as though, given the location, he's going to allow the fighter to continue, at least for now. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy's... Oh, oh, my goodness! What a fight! Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight, and the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. All right, the official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, two seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to rue the day. 